you, you want me to talk about my father. <laughs> a boy, a man, a husband, a father, a soldier. He goes by all of those titles, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know how to continue. How do you continue? You work, you work so hard. You even give your time. You spare blood just to sit behind a desk and tell other people to do what you wish you were doing. I think what he's really learning is that what the world really does is sit you on the sideline to watch everything go by. Friends. Family. <clears throat> this surely is no country for old men. He used to see the world differently before he did what he did. <clears throat> but now it's it's ingrained in him, it's a part of him. He he can never not look at the world as a place of war, but but because Look what the world took from him. <sighs> Besides, what is a soldier without a war? Right? feels like, it feels like the softest thing in the world. It melts and, and crumbles in your hand. The moment you take one step, your foot seeps through. God, I miss snow, I miss snow. The cold, cold air. The feeling of freedom. The moments when you would have to clap your shoes together to, so that you don't bring in any snow into the house and mom doesn't have to slip off her chancla. <laughs> chancla is a, a sandal, foot flop. Um, I like to think it's as, it's as close as anyone's gonna get to walking on water. It's like being in a whole nother world. Free of all of it. How could something so special, so special, melt and crumble with a blink of an eye? Just like that. But, but those moments I had snow in my hand. The moments I felt like I was walking on water. That was the last time I ever remember feeling human. And then 
the snow went away. It melted. I can't see the end. And if I can't see the end, I, I don't I don't know why there's there's a point to it all. You know? So I just I'm trying to figure it out. You know why why am why am why why I'm doing what I'm doing. Feel something again. What the general coffers feel? I pity men. I pity men who have the strength and the courage to go and fight. Because I lack everything a man should be. I'm a coward. I sit and I watch other men fight my fight. But because I do not have the strength to do it my own. How could I? I feel it. I could never know what that feels like. To have someone come up to you and thank you for something that you never wanted to do. I'm a coward at heart. There's no change in that. It's who I am. It's who I am. <laughs> I'll never be like him. It's too late now. I'll never be like him. My father. He's a very complicated man. He won't stop until he gets what he wants. That anger, that rage, it never goes away. It consumes you until it takes over your soul until you're no longer a man until all you are is just a, an animal an animal feasting consuming You never let it go, and it never lets go of you. That man, that man, he won't stop. He'll never stop. And a part of me blames myself. Save him. Maybe he's just gone now. Maybe he's, he's just that animal.
Maybe there's no, no part of that man left. And all the people dying, I blame myself, yes. They would all still be alive if it weren't for me giving up on that man. So, I let that rage consume him. And... And I let a part of it consume me too. Is that what humanity is? Are we just animals? Just animals. We have lost every sense of morality. And it's because of people like me. People like me. <laughs> because of people like me who give up.